Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to go through what is the plan for 2023. My goal for 2023 is to post about one video a week. I'll let, see if I can do more, but at a minimum, I want to do one video per week. In terms of the videos, I group them into playlists. And I have this playlist called Go On The Run. And it's been one of the longest running playlists with quite a number of videos, about 100 plus videos in it. And it's not been pretty. And so recently, I started breaking down the topics within Go On The Run into you know, their own playlist. So the Go On The Run playlist is described as just hot up programming examples and topics. And the reason why I have Go On The Run is because I have another playlist called Go Programming For Tourists. And that is a copy, the exact same videos from my Go Programming Language For Tourists um, Udemy course. I just took those videos and I encode them and put them on YouTube. And so the intent of that course or that playlist is to teach you Go from the absolute basic. You don't even have to have programming experience. I explain everything, what a byte is, everything, what bits are, you name it. So it is Go programming, learning Go programming as a first language. You don't have to have any other prior programming experience. Go on the run, on the other hand, is dealing with all the other things that you might need to do in your application that is not covered in the programming language. For example, how do you talk to a database? How do you encrypt things? Those sort of things, right? How do you write an API um, server? Those sort of things. And so this is going to continue. So I'll ha still add videos to go on the run playlist itself, but also I'm going to create topics for each set of videos. Okay. And so if you go now and you look, you'll see at all this go on the run like section one as a playlist and so on. So that's going to continue. There's this other playlist I have called Just Stuff. And the intent of that is for putting videos about any sort of side project you might have or any random thing that I might be working on. It doesn't necessarily have to be go. It might be go, but it doesn't sort of falls into this um the organization of how I have Go and Run. So even though Go and Run is says had up programming examples and topic, it is still organized. But I will continue to have just stuff for those random topics, and you'll see what I mean. I had intended in 2022 to restart my Learn and Flutter playlist. Um, I have a playlist called Learn and Flutter. It's still going to be there. And 2022, I plan to just restart it so I can show the new way of installing um, Flutter, setting up your environment and everything. Just completely start that. But I didn't get around to it in 2022. And looking into 2023, I don't think I'll have the time. The thing is, I still love Flutter. I still use Flutter on the side whenever I want to or need to. It's still my UI um, building framework of choice. It's just that in terms of trying to teach people to use it, I really wouldn't have the time to teach people what I know or learn more material to teach people. Um, I just wouldn't have the time. So I don't want to put that down as a goal for 2023 and not be able to fulfill it. I have an embedded programming playlist. And before COVID, I was posting video as I tried to build up this robotics platform, which I still want to work on. Again, I don't have a lot of time to really dedicate and put out videos in that playlist. And a lot of things happened with COVID. I moved at the same time. I had to pack up my things and I couldn't access my embedded stuff. After I got back into a home, I was able to access my stuff that was all packed up in storage. I still didn't have the time to be able to work on that. When I do get to do some embedded programming with Go, which I plan to do this year as part of my robotics platform and motor control and all this other stuff and vision control and so on in Go, what I'll do is I'll just put them in the just stuff. So everything that I might do in embedded programming, because it's going to be sort of one off anyway, um, and I don't know when I'm going to get to it, I'll just put it in just stuff. So there's still going to be some embedded programming with Go. It's just going to show up in just stuff. All right. So that's it for the broad playlist. You could take, think of them as the very high level two playlist that we're going to have. But remember, 
as I work on specific topics, right, those are going to be a set of videos, and those are going to go into playlists. So one of the first topics I want to cover in 2023 is NATS. And um, NATS is about messaging and streaming. And I'm not going to spend time to try to explain what those are. If this makes sense to you, this little description, great. If not, you, I'll explain it when we start doing NATS. After NATS, um, my initial plan was to do application security. And this means talking about authentication and authorization. Again, if you don't know what those the differences there are, don't worry. When we talk about application security, we'll look at that. But I think that though, um, instead, I'll do temporal. So temporal is this other project that I really like. I think um, it's one of the best ways to do workflows. And when we do NATS and messaging and then jump into temporal, you see the relationship between the two types of um, ways of uh, tying your microservices together and so on and what's different about them. So I'll do NAS first, then temporal, then application security. I think this between these three, it should take us well into the middle of 2023. Then I want to talk about Golan web application frameworks. And there's this one called Butterlife that I really like. I, I think it's very simple and I won't say much more about it because I don't want this video to be too long. The next one is Buffalo which I think is a little bit more complex, but has many more features than Butterlife I have at this time, but it's also a very popular framework. There are other popular frameworks, application frameworks. I can't cover all of them, Jin, Fiber, all this other stuff. I just can't get to everything, but these are the ones I'm going to show you. And then I want to talk about PocketBase. I'd like to cover how to use PocketBase. PocketBase is sort of like a backend as a service application, but you can use it to build your Go application. And I want to show you how you can use PocketBase to take care of a lot of concerns that you need normally have when you build an application. There's this other project called Surreal Database that I'd like to get to in 2023 if we can. And I really like what it's doing and its approach um, to storage. Um, and I can't say too much about it. I'm still learning myself, but I would love to be able to show, show you guys it. Um, and finally, service mesh. Now, if I had not promised to do NATS so long ago, finishing up Kubernetes, service mesh makes the most sense as the next thing we should jump into, just because it runs in Kubernetes, it allows you to do some really nice things. Now, you might ask, why not do service mesh after I do NATS? Well, because I think temporal makes sense to do uh, to, it makes sense to do temporal after NATS. And why not do service mesh after temporal? Because I think things like application security um, are very important when you start building applications. And then if you look at application security, you might as well look at framework that help you simplify some of that stuff. So um, service mesh sort of get pushed down. And so I could technically switch to um, you know, the order of surreal database and service mesh, but we'll figure that out. In terms of likelihood of what is going to get covered this year, we're absolutely going to cover NAS 100% because that's what we're going to start with. Temporal, absolutely sure we're going to get to that. Application security, I'm 100% sure we're going to get to that this year. When we get to like Go frameworks, I think those are going to be towards the end of 2023. And whether we get to cover all of the frameworks I want to mention, I want to show you guys, that's going to be you know where the doubts start creeping in. Will we be able to get to Surreal Database or Service Mesh? Very unlikely, but I would like to, but we'll see. So that's the plan in terms of topics. And of course, these topics are going to result in multiple you know, playlists. So when we talk about frameworks, that's going to be a playlist. But talking about all the videos for Bud Life, that's going to be its own playlist. Buffalo is going to be its own playlist. And Pocket Base is going to be its own playlist also. So there's going to be an explosion of playlists, but those are going to be used as a way to organize the videos. Now, why am I going to lean in so heavily to using playlists to organize the videos? There's this channel called Vlog Brothers, and I've been watching them for a long time. And they've been creating videos from 2016. And they have 1,700 plus videos. And they have a playlist for those 1,700 plus videos. But they also have multiple other playlists grouping those videos by topics. And so I think it's not the number of videos in a playlist, 
it's just always organized so if you wanted to binge watch vlog brothers from the very beginning when they started with their first video you just go to the playlist that have like one plus a thousand plus videos and just start playing that in order but if you want to look at very specific topics then you can just go to the playlist of that and so that's how i'm going to organize things here so that's it in terms of topics in terms of subscribers um we're almost 4,000 subscribers so thank you very much to every single one of you who have subscribed and in terms of the number of new subscribers in 2022 we did about um 700 which is about two subscribers per day on average i'm happy with that i mean of course i would love for it to be more i'd love to add like 700 subscribers per day but you know um i think there's a lot of work there's a lot of work left for me to do to be able to grow the channel a whole lot and i thank every one of you who subscribe and leave suggestion i do hear it i do read it and i just need to get better hopefully we can grow even more this is less than how much we grew in 2021 but hey um a new subscriber is a new subscriber so i'm very thankful and so i'm going to end it here by saying thank you again and i hope you have a great 2022